Ladies and gentlemen, this is Real Aussie with John Ritland. Hi. I am the Derbinator. And that was NXT TakeOver. Woo! Good lord, I want to show that was Derb. Hmm. Man, you're almost as white as Byron Sexton. I am. <laughs> but, holy crap, was this a great show, but I don't have a lot of time, so let's get it going. We will get it going, but just wanted you to do the normal thing. Okay, Pat McCaffrey put him on every kickoff, pan or kickoff panel. He did great. That was some brilliant wit. It was. I don't know who the live performance was by. I don't care. It was the guys who the songs were made by. Okay, that would explain why I don't know. Exactly. They start off with the six-way North American Heavy Kuwait Championship match. And holy shit. Ricochet, EC3, Laura Sullivan, Killian Dane, Adam Cole, Baibu, and the Velveteen Cream Experience. Yes. Wait. Um, boy, what a way to kick off the show. Like, follow that, motherfuckers. They tried. And they did succeed. Ricochet shining immediately. And you, indeed. You have never seen Ricochet wrestle before now. Correct. <clears throat> and my god, did he do I'm a, a filthy casual. Nothing wrong with that. You have a life. Um, I clearly don't. EC3 and Cole, that'll be a fun feud, as you said. Indeed. The Velveteen Dream shining. Elbows for days. Mm -hmm. Elbow from the top of the ladder. Yeah, I thought someone was going to join the <laughs> Undisputed Era tonight. And, well, we'll get to that. We will. Dane and Lars with the Monster Mash. Yes. Um... Hey, you know what? EC3 really shines. Monster shined. Mash. Yes. <laughs> I was well, never mind. Um, boy, that that tweak accident on the uh, ladder. <laughs> Man, that was bad. Ricochet getting flattened by everything. Everybody just Lars Sullivan running around with a chair around his neck, and ladder, hitting people you mean? with it. Ladder. Ladder that same evening. Yes. What did I say? <laughs> you said a chair. Oh. That Hi. Was kind of funny. It's okay. We're all tired. Um, and we're all excited after the show. Yes. But boy, just all those using the weapon as a ladder. Boy, that was great stuff. It really was. And Adam Cole Boo -boo. becomes the North American Heavyweight Champion. And I had that. We. Th the funniest thing is we got one match wrong. Mm -hmm. So I did win the predictions four to two. Yeah. You'll win the predictions tomorrow. Probably. <clears throat> That's usually how it works. But this was great, and I have no complaints about Adam Cole winning because it tied into everything, even though we got the tag title wrong. Great matchup. Yes. I mean, tremendous. Every guy shined. No guy looked weak. And speaking of weak, Shayna Baszler and Ember Moon. <laughs> Ember Look. Moon did great. Shayna Baszler did better than I anticipated, which isn't a high standard, no. to be honest. Lizzie Hale, with Joan Jett-style hair, yeah. uh, did the performance of Ember Moon's... Uh, Entrance, which I wondered why that voice sounded familiar. I'm not the biggest Lizzie Hale fan. But Cassie but pointed it out. She did. And good. You know what? She did fine. It's the first time I've found Hailstorm tolerable. Um, <clears throat> of course, Shayna, shoulder and her responsibility, going full Mel Gibson, which you never go full Mel Gibson, especially with an ethnic person in the match. Yes. Um, and popping her shoulder back into place, Oof. like in Lethal Weapon. It was better in their January match at Philly, but it's Far still... better. It still wasn't that good, because yeah. Shayna's not there yet at all. You have a ton of deserving women. Nikki Cross, ton of women mm -hmm. that deserve a chance to be champion. I mean, Peyton and Billy haven't even been on TV lately. They haven't been able to sniff the championship. <coughs> smells like disappointment. They're the iconic duo. Probably a call up after Mania anyway. But this was the weakest match, but they put... Did it have some good technical stuff? Yes, it had some good submission stuff, but you could tell Ember was carrying this. Yeah. And was Shayna bad? No, but Shayna wasn't great. No. Sorry, I'm still not sold on her. Now we go to the Dusty Classic. Mm -hmm. AOP, Dunn and Strong, Kyle, or Cole and O'Reilly. Um, tag title and Dusty Classic trophy. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's what it was for. And boy, O'Reilly, really good at the submission wrestling. The ankle lock and the triangle <laughs> choke. On, <clears throat> on... Either Aiken or Razor, I can't tell the difference. I didn't I couldn't know. see the eyes. Oh god, that's right. You can tell the difference by the eyes. Yeah, well, um, those very effeminate eyes. Cole, right through the announcer's table. Perfect way to write him out of the most of the match, because he done almost killed himself in that ladder match. Yep. Boy, though, just done hits the bitter end of the rally. One, two, and strong attacks. Uh, Pete, Pete Dunn. Dunn. And oh my god, it would have been better if he attacked Kevin Dunn because I almost said that. But mm -hmm. And Roderick Strong joining the Undisputed Era. I am disappointed I did not call that. Uh, who could have guessed? I would have thought Pete Dunn would have betrayed Roderick Strong long before he betrayed Pete Dunn. But it's the best way to do it because they've been trying to recruit Roderick for so long. He didn't do it the first time. Remember that episode? Mm -hmm. And no. now. 
<laughs> no. <laughs> but now that he is, things are going to be taking an interesting direction. Yes. Especially it, if the Undisputed Era can become a real stable up on the main roster. Even. I would say so. I think after SummerSlam. Yeah. Give him. Cole's going to need a run with the American, the North American title at least till SummerSlam. Yep. He's a perfect inaugural champion. Now Undisputed Era, despite Regal doing everything he could to put obstacles in front of him. Have almost all the championships. Roderick can now go for the heavyweight title mm. because it, it, it was a good match. And the heel turn made it better than it actually was. It's hard to have AOP be in a great match where the Super Collider, eh, eh. But Ella Rain helps him a lot. Alistair Black versus Andrade Cien Almas and Woo! boy, yes, this was great. We did not plan that. We didn't actually. We never plan generally anything here. But Alistair Black. <laughs> In Andrade Cien Almas. It got a little annoying with Selena Vega. Selena. What did I say? You said Selena. No, I said Selena. Okay, I can't I can't understand S and Z. Do you not understand my uh, Filipino accent? No. Okay, good. <laughs> so um the first two times. But, but other other than that, with uh all of this going on, it, it's good that Alistair Black won without any any help from the uh, outside. But yeah, the the black, the, all the finisher, you know, all the finisher reversals, the finishers being hit. Zelina interfering the first two times was fine, but otherwise, yes, the fact that the interference cost Andrade Cien Almas. Yes. And boom, the black mass right in the face, and Alistair Black gets to win. He will celebrate by getting a tattoo. He deserves one. <laughs> it wasn't as good as a Gargano yeah. Almas match. I shouldn't have expected it to be. Alistair Black winning. Great match. But then we get to the real event. And we have all the Gargano the event signs. that we all wanted to see. Yes. The Gargano signs were great. They passed them out at the Tomato door. Chompers versus Johnny Gargamel. Hold on a second. <laughs> Can Candace Thomas Whitney Esquire versus Johnny Wrestling. And Candace is, Gar is Johnny Gargano Smurfette. I want you to think about that. Please don't. The Gargano signs were passed out at the door, mm -hmm. while some fans passed out at the door. Well, yeah, it's New Orleans. <laughs> um, boy, the unsanctioned match, Ciampa getting no music, no music, and oh, the fuck you, Ciampa chance. Oh god, he oh. is probably the best heel at the moment for WWE, if not the world. Him and Cody are like in a really good competition for yeah. best heel. Like, good lord. Best face versus best heel. This may be the best match. I mean, and I know they're not actual brothers, but they're like brothers. Maybe the best natural feud between a face and a heel since Brett and Owen. Yeah, I'm saying it. <coughs> Dig it. I mean, the crowd was on fire. L not literally, thankfully. <laughs> That's why they took out the fire techniques, don't you know? WrestleMania uh, <laughs> 24. Yeah. But, the, uh... This match was great, and they were legitimately beating each other up because by the end of this, Champa's eye had swollen. Um, they really took it to each other. They knew each other's limits because they've known each other so long. But this was just a masterclass. It was safe, but yet there were so many live rounds. I, I mean, that's not the first time live rounds have happened in New Orleans. Yeah. So many spots that you're a wanker chance. Oh, God. Taking a fan the British invasion. Yeah, <laughs> you're taking a fan's crutch is probably a plant, but whatever. Um, no, he seemed he seemed not to be in a coma. Robert Plant. Um, the concrete spot for mm -hmm. Champa. Ah, trying yeah. to cement his legacy. What a war! So many near falls and the brace coming back into play. Almost, almost beats him with the brace. Hits him in the knee with the brace after Champa takes the brace off. And yes. oh my God. The crutch doesn't hit him. They sit down, much like at the Cruiserweight Classic first round. And oh, and then he traps him in He traps him in the Gargano Luck and then gets him in STF. That's how you do a goddamn STF. So yes. yes. <clears throat> and using the brace and Ciampa taps out, Gargano is back in NXT. This match goes to TakeOver Chicago and possibly even SummerSlam. Mm. And then they get called up, and here's why. Ow. <laughs> Gargano. I didn't want to ruin my hat, so I decided to hit you. That's, uh, that's just as well, yeah. <laughs> Story of my life. Gargano wins. Gargano loses at Chicago. Mm. 
And then they have one final match <clears throat> at SummerSlam. Interesting. Or TakeOver. Well, TakeOver Brooklyn. But anyway, I I mean, even with the women's match, I gotta say A+. Plus. Yeah. Th- a, this this was a, a, a near flawless show. I mean, if A+, plus especially for the energy. Like, this may be the best TakeOver they've done in a while. So for you, a, a, uh, I'm I'm going to give it an A, actually. I know I want to give it an A+, plus, but there were the flaws of the Ember Moon Shane and Baszler yeah. match. Yeah, A. And Selena Vega's involvement was a bit much. <laughs> but A for sure. Definitely. Um, Best takeover in a while. Yeah. Anyway, agree, disagree what we said? Yeah. We're rushing because he's got somewhere to go, and we... It's D&D! Dynamite? No. We have seven hours of the show to WrestleMania. Gross. And we will be back tomorrow. Like, share, subscribe as well. Twitter links, thumbnail for that guy in the description. Been real honesty with John Ritland. Actually, I'm going to let Derp take it out. This has been Real Honesty with John Ritland and the Derbinator. And we will see you tomorrow. Or you'll see us tomorrow. It depends. <clears throat> the cameras may or may not work that I've installed in your house. I install all kinds of cameras in her house. <laughs>